My name is uh, Usman Gay, and I am an artist sculptor. I sculpt all around the world and travel to find materials and discover new inspiration all around the world. And I start working in this medium who is the stone since I was six years old without even knowing what I was doing. So then I can even just answer, that's God. I'm a believer and who decide to make whatever you do is because of God. So it's a gift of God, that's why I do the sculptures. How do you go deep inside and go inside this round to get the inspiration, work very closely between the material and yourself and have the inspiration. That's why the spirit, the spirituality is in here. That's what I have accomplished on these 40 years of understanding and complicity between the material and myself until to guard my own way. And then that everybody, what I was looking for is found that any human being can be able to find a little bit himself inside what I am doing. That is the most important for me. I was born in Senegal and live not far from the ocean. I grew up with my dad and my mom wasn't there, meaning uh, I didn't grow up with my mother. I always was looking for that love and that mother. So that ocean, the farness of it, that line, the wave, the sound, the lullaby of the songs that we used to hear from our family and the grandma, always inspire me through that mermaid. The mermaid who is the underworld dancer with the movement. And I always was seeing those form in the flower, meaning when you say the stone around the ocean, they always looks like sculptures. And that is very important piece too. There's three together, man. The translucent, the dots, blue dots in it. When you start making an, a piece of art, a sculpture. The work start from the quarry, looking for the materials and gets inspired by a form, who I can always say hire another form, and I work with uh, uh, old course hammer, a chisel, and get a very uh, close relation between the material and myself, and that's how I work. I start first in Senegal, where I was born, uh, doing competition in the sand near the ocean, a sand competition. And then I was, uh, when I start school from six years old, we have a class artistic uh, option where once a week we will have to draw or do something who artistic. Mm -hmm. So I was very good doing the clay, meaning modelage. I win many competitions who was organized in that time by the French airline and then the African airline who used to be Air Africa. And we was doing competition in the sun beach, meaning uh, uh, sand sculptures. And I start from there winning. The final was always visited by the president on that time in Senegal, who was Leopold Senghor. So I win maybe one, two, three times. That's really how I start working. And the president asked me to do what exactly that I wanted to do when I wanna, you know, in, in the city, in the house, I say, I wanna do a monumental, open air monumental sculpture museum. My age was making laugh everybody. But he did say, oh, if prefer to you go to a big professional 
international school to get more um, knowledge of what do you want to do. And that's how I get a scholarship to went to France in one of the biggest institute artistic, who is the Ecole Nationale Supérieure des Beaux-Arts, I mean the School of Art in Paris. And after that, I was lucky to be uh, interest, uh, getting interest and win another kind of a small scholarship to do the Henry Moore Foundation in England. And after that, I was in the same time taking classes, the late night class we call in Ecole Bull, where is the, um, the design of furniture design. And I have been working for, uh, as an uh, apprentice to the uh, father of Jean-Paul Belmondo. His father is a sculptor. He do classic like uh, Camille Claudel and uh, I take that uh, training also. But I have been very close to all of the teachers in the School of Art in Paris. They just embrace me, love me, because you see, it's not usual to see an African, or even just I can say a black artist, on those kind of school. So I was maybe amazed. Uh, they were so interested and impressed by what I was doing, so everybody loved me. So those people was a Caesar, I can, if I translate the name, is Caesar. Etienne Martin is another famous 20th century artist, sculptor, French. And then Jean Cardo, who's a carver, big time. He worked really very well. So I learned in that school so much. After then, I went to Carrara, who is one of the most famous uh, marble quarry in Italy, where Michelangelo and Donatello and Camille Claudel and Rodin used to get their stone, or Michelangelo used to work for the Vatican and La Pieta. Those are the masters in this world today. Maybe even some of them, nobody know them. But you know, that's only my background. I work enough to be part of whatever is giving uh, to the world, the aesthetic, the spiritual, the light, equilibrium of what I do with organic materials. And I can call that really a sculpture. You know, about this piece, is exceptional. What do you call it? La Crinière d'Or, gold main. In English, we say gold main. How long does this sculpture take? Uh, it's no, I start this piece, that's 20 years ago. The piece was waiting for me. I went to Japan, travel all around the world, live in America. And now I just finished this piece before uh, coming back here. I have uh, kind of following the work because the stone still uh, four pieces left that I have to work again. But this is just exceptional, like I say. It's one of the m m masterpiece. I am never in life discouraged because you always have people who is your inspiration. Only with your family you can get that strongness to achieve the dream that I would love to have my first monumental exhibition because I do, this is my gallery work, and I have huge pieces with three, four, five, six, seven ton in Europe that I'm working on right now. And we love to have it here in Harlem, uh, in the outside, for everybody to see that work. I just created two pieces in agate. That's the black roses that I call them and there's two on them right there. And that's why I was inspired by that. They also a part of my dream. On 96, 97, and 98, I have pieces who was exhibited in the malls of Lincoln Center from 63rd to 83rd Street. The, it's time has come that the next year, or from now, than another two years, is a dream but I would love to have the monumental sculptures, the best of what I have, be exhibited in the malls in front of the gallery in 7th Avenue and Lynx, uh, 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 Lenox. Because of the invention, 
and other places in Harlem to just have, give the community something they can open for everybody and participate on the development, cultural and artistic and touristic to the neighborhood here in Harlem. I'm not going